So this time I want to put a different shaped top onto this. I want to use a, a polygon, so something with lots of sides on it. And the polygon shape is here. If I click on it, I go to the edge. Now notice the moment at the bottom, in the bottom corner, okay, it says down here 8. Okay, I can change that to whatever number I want, so I can change that to 6. So now I'm going to draw a six-sided polygon, so make sure I'm in the center. Pull that out slightly to the side, so I could put in 9. I'm going to just pull that out to around about, I don't know, I think about 3. Okay, so not much bigger. And I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to tilt that forward a touch so I can see it. So there's my little polygon shape. Now, because I now want to draw a circle in the middle, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull this up slightly. So I'm going to start with the outside, I'm going to pull that up by 0.2, and then I'm going to pull the circle up by 0.2. Because this is now a new surface, see that there seem to be two surfaces here. And again, like we talked about earlier, you can heal the surface by deleting the circle. So I've now got a smooth, flat surface. Now sometimes, when you try and heal a surface, you'll actually make things disappear. So you always have to sort of pull things up first. So again, I want my circle in the middle. Go to the edge. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Try that again. Go to the edge. Make sure it's drawing in the center. And I think about 0.5 ought to do that. I can select the circle. I can click on the Move tool. Hold down the Alt key and drag it up. And I can already see it's not quite doing what I wanted it to do. That seems to not be the shape I was after. So let's have a look. No, that's definitely not what I was after. It's from the computers. I've asked the computer to guess what it is that I wanted. And actually, what it's done isn't what I wanted. So I need to now think of some other way of doing it. And I need to put more control in. What I wanted it to do was draw triangular shapes from the corners up to the top. And it's guessed wrong, so I need to give it more information to help it do that. So I'm going to draw the pencil and I'm going to draw lines right the way across from side to side. And given it's got six sides, there should be three of them. Okay. Oh, I'm going to just stay with the four. The ones in the middle, I'm going to rub out. So I've just got those lines. So now I've told it that each of these, when it pulls up, should now form a flat triangular shape. I've told it I want eight triangles. Before, I hadn't told it anything, and it was guessing for me. So same thing. Whoops. Click on the circle. Click on the Move tool. Hold down the Alt key. Drag it up. Okay. And now when I look at it, it's done exactly what I wanted. I gave it more information. I've actually defined my triangles by drawing the lines in. and I've got it to do exactly what I want.